NPA COVID-19 response group essentially developed um, organically. Um, and in many ways, it's, it's, a, it's a very good example of uh, the corporate knowledge that the NPA, through its many years of funding, has developed and the relationships that it's developed across all the different regions. Maine shares so many demographic, cultural um, similarities, environmental similarities to the NPA region. And so we were very interested um, in building some partnerships to look at um, how COVID has really impacted particularly our rural communities. that's really what this project is all about is talking about the human lived experience of all of this because this is a deeply lived experience this pandemic but also relying on the data to help us make decisions um, about how we move forward and how we react how we build policy I think you have to combine those two and this is the moment to do it but I suppose the other thing that's become apparent to us very quickly was the fact that the experience of COVID-19 in NPA regions has often been very different than in non-NPA regions in the same country. You know, if you're developing a tailored public health response for a particular country, then, then our view is that that should be tailored to what's happening in a particular region. We need to have strategic and operational level where things can start again and where there is a deeper understanding beyond the obvious pain that the sickness caused and is causing. Because we need to survive and understand the terms of survival. What we found is that because the impact is so long of this COVID, the peripherality should be redefined. We're redefining the boundaries of this because the pandemic doesn't know boundaries. We're not saying this is a physical boundary, we're saying this is almost an experiential boundary where we're experiencing the sim similarities and what can we learn from that. First of all, I think the legacy is that people are going to continue to work together and just to have developed those contacts, be able to talk to people from different countries and share ideas and share knowledge and, and really support each other through what is very, probably the most challenging period of our professional lives as, as, as doctors is that that's a, that's a wonderful legacy.